Today we look at what guitar players need at small shows and why they need to practice setting up and tearing down. Thanks for joining me at Smith Music. My name is Paul Smith and I bring you in the studio and backstage as well as do gear reviews and show musicians how to build careers. For small shows, there's a few things that musicians need to consider. In general, musicians playing small shows bring far too much equipment that's too big and complex. Musicians play too loud and take far too long setting up and tearing down. You'll probably be on a small stage and you'll likely be short on AC power. You'll need to be able to set up your guitar rig in less than five minutes and you'll need to be able to bring your rig from side stage to on stage in less than two minutes. This is something to practice and get very good at. You need to be able to strike or tear down your rig in five minutes as well. You need to be able to get your rig off stage to side stage in less than two minutes with no more than two trips off the stage. Efficient setup and teardown may not be important to you, but if there's other artists or a sound person, it'll be important to them. When I'm running larger concerts, it's common for inexperienced openers to take far longer with setup and strike than their headliners with way more gear. That's because experienced musicians have well thought out rigs. In general, I try to use one plug-in for power. I bring the simplest setup that I can and have the smallest stage footprint possible. For the amp, I'm looking for something that sounds good, but not so big that I can hear myself over the drum set. Yes, you heard that right. I don't want an amp that's loud enough to hear myself over the drum set. Here's why. In a small room, you'll likely only mic the kick drum and maybe a little snare, uh, and if my guitar gets over the drum set level, it won't be put in the PA system. If the guitar is put through the PA system, it's going to sound bigger and controlled. You can add guitar to your monitor as well. This way you can hear yourself, and if your amp is smaller, you can push it harder and get a little bit better tone out of it. For pedals, bring only the essentials and put them in a pedal board. Generally, most guitar players can get away with a distorted tone, a clean tone, and a solo boost. You need to take time and consider if you need that flanger, reverb, or other pedal that you bought on a whim. With a small amp, you can use one power bar to hook up your whole rig. Bring a proper extension cable to get you from the pedal board to your amp and another one to get you from your amp to the wall. In total, here's a good starting point for what you should bring. A small amp, a pedal board, guitar, a backup guitar, two extension cables, one power bar, and if you need two patch cables, bring four. A double guitar stand, a tuner, and a guitar player's toolkit. Now I'm going to show you a professional setup and strike. I brought you to the stage here in Smith Music, and this is a large stage for a small uh, venue. Uh, it's like 12 feet deep by 35 feet wide. And um, so I'm going to show you how I set up at a small venue. This is a 100-person venue, so it's kind of perfect for this. I'm making recommendations for most people, you know, based on the average guitar player's needs. I actually work to simplify things much more than most guitar players. Uh, I'm perfectly happy 90% of the time with a clean channel, a boost, and a distortion channel. So uh, uh, I don't actually own a pedal board because um, every gig that I do is very different. And um, uh, so I, I'm using two pedals and I brought batteries for them so that uh, it's a really easy setup, uh, which this is a great alternative to. If you have a bigger pedal board set up, uh, then definitely you'll need a second extension cord. But this means I only need one extension cord uh, for the amplifier and um, it'll make a little bit more simple setup. The first thing that I'm going to do is unpack all my gear in the club that I'm in, and if there's other bands playing, I'm going to set it up side stage so that I can um, be as set up as possible and then just walk up on stage and finish it off. I've got all my gear behind me, so the first thing that I want to do is side stage, set everything up and get it as finished as I can so that I can walk up on stage and it's a really quick process. Now I've got everything set up over here. I got uh, the cables in the back of the amp and I have uh, two pedals sitting on top of it. I can just walk up on stage wearing my guitar, guitar stand in one hand and the uh, um, amp and pedals already set up in the other hand. So then I can just put it up on the stage, plug in, um, plug my guitar in and ready to roll. This, uh, I did decide to bring just one guitar stand for this. 
because the backup is going to stay in its case. So it's sitting there and it's just ready if uh, if something goes wrong and I have all my extra stuff in one spot, keep it neat, keep it out of the way. Okay, so here we go up on stage. There we go. We got our uh, clean channel, our distortion, and our boost. If you're finding this video helpful, I'd appreciate you liking the video and subscribing to my channel. And we're ready to go. I'll know how long this took in the uh, edit. I'm not sure. So one of the things that people would say is that this is not an optimal guitar rig. And you'd be right. But it's not an optimal guitar gig for the guitar player, but it's optimal for the band. Um, really, you know, as, as pro players, we're not, we're not just there for ourselves. So this might not be the best sounding guitar rig, but in a small room, it's probably going to sound, well, it's definitely going to sound better than something that's really overpowered and really um, uh, just too large for the room because you can't get that amp up loud enough. If you have it too loud, it doesn't sound good to the audience. So... It's about what's the best sound for the band, not what's the best sound for the guitar player. Okay, let's tear it down and see how this how long this takes to tear down. So there we have it. We're off stage, we had our set, and I don't know how long it took, I'll find out in the edit uh, how long that took, but uh, um, probably under two minutes. And now I'm over here, things are a little bit messy, so I just got to uh, straighten up my gear so that I can take it home and everything works out great. If you have questions about live guitar rigs, post them in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. I'd love to hear about your live setup. <laughs>